What's up? Creepers and Geekers, Chris, the entire creep. How's everyone doing today? Mm. Mm. God damn it, I love my coffee. Nope, there's something to be said about, or it is often said in a lot of our channels here, um, especially mine. I've mentioned it a few times, and I, I know a couple others who have said this. They love video games, they, especially the classics, especially the retro stuff, the early stuff. But they, we also like some of the modern stuff, okay? We love these games, we love picking them up, we love playing them, we love collecting them, we just love everything about it. But we may just suck at them. <laughs> you know what I mean? There are some people who, doesn't matter how many times they play a specific game, they're just not going to be good at it. I don't fall in that exact category, but I'm definitely not that person that has that perfect alignment of stars. You know, the, the, the relationship between the eyes, the controller and the hands, going into the console, to the TV, back to the back to the eyes and the brain and that cycle continuing that doesn't matter what they pick up they can they can master most things when it comes to video games and they have a a, a skill unlike me um whether the game has good controls or the game has bad controls now all of this said i may not be the greatest at games and i'm talking about games across the entire spectrum but i still play them and i still enjoy them even if they have horrible controls. Now, I'm obviously not going to get as far because I don't have that thing in a game that has shitty controls. But even in a game that has great controls, it may take me a little bit longer. But I have played a whole bunch of them, obviously. And I have beaten a good number of them. So it's not that I can't play them. I just don't have that natural thing. But I still enjoy them. The other day, I got a package from Mr. Paku Paku, and within that package was a copy of Star Fox 64 3D for my 3DS, which I have right over there at the, the table. I remember playing it on the N64 periodically. I did own it when I had an N64. I don't have an N64 now. I have this, this weird history with the N64. To me, it's weird. Maybe to others, it's not. After talking to Mr. Canadian Zangief, him and I are kind of like right there at the same level when it comes to the N64. Um, seems like we have the same similar history with it, but if you've been on my channel long enough, you know the N64 has just been one of those hit and miss things with me. I dedicated two whole videos to it if you want to search it out, my history, with the N64, and I just keep trying to give it its justice, and each time it keeps failing. It's guilty to me, you know what I mean? I can't stand it. But I do remember having fun playing Star Fox. I don't remember being very good at it, that's okay. So when the package arrived, I put I, I, I promptly put it into my 3DS because it, it, sometimes I forget, you know, I'll put it on the shelf and then like a month later I'll be like, oh, that's right, I did get that key. So I put it in my 3DS, which I pick up often. Yesterday there was a birthday party for the girls, I mean the shit's still here. And uh, while the girls were doing their thing and all the cake and everything was done and I could sit down, I grabbed my 3DS and started playing it. I went through training mode. I learned something about myself. I learned that I suck at Star Fox 64. I must have played training mode. Got an hour. And I just could not get the ship to fucking do what I wanted it to do. And I'm thinking to myself, am I just getting old? Because I still play games all the time. So it's not like I'm trying to brush up on these skills. And then I realized it was it was the thumbstick thing. It was the, the way you control digital versus analog. And that's why I don't play modern games, because of the double analog sticks. There's just something about it that my brain, eyes, hands, control, a TV in that cycle just does no compute. So here I am playing my older games. I mean, come on. I started with this. I started with a single stick and a single button, okay? Then moved on to game pads. But I was just horrible. I could not get this thing. I'm going to keep trying. I don't give up either, because it is a fun game. And the dual barrel roll, great shit, love it. Fun, fun stuff. But I'm horrible at it. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. So let's rewind here a little bit. Um, I did that video on the new television system that's coming out. And I said in there I wasn't able to watch the, uh, the live presentation from the folks at Intellivision Entertainment. But I was able to watch it I, the, the day after. And... Uh, I listened to what Tommy and his buddy had to say quite a bit, and I really did enjoy everything they said. If, if what he's talking about comes to fruition, I think he could do somewhat well. Um, 
I think this might be the one that finally does it, I guess, the train that, or the engine that could kind of deal. But one of the things he said, and it, 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 it came more to light after my experience with Star Fox 64, is he was talking, and I'm going to be paraphrasing, I can't really quote 100% here, but he was talking about back in the day when he had the Intellivision, and his family would set aside time for like Game Boy Night and Video Game Night and all that, and they would all get together... And him, his dad, his brother, and his sister, or whoever, they would sit together and they would play a game. And they were talking about how, even though some of the games back then were tough, and there's an expression, you know, you know they're easy to pick up but impossible to master. Um, everybody was on a level playing field when it came to playing these video games. You know, the controllers were simple enough, you could pick them up and hold them. And, you know, you'd play a game like, say, baseball. You mentioned sports games a few times, you know. One day you'd win, next day your brother would win, or next day your father would win, or whoever you were playing. There was always a level playing field every time you picked it up. Now, there's a lot of truth to it. There's some, you know, obviously there are going to be people that have that cycle, that, that thing I was talking about earlier, that are just better at it. But for the most part, even if you hadn't played the game, once it was real simple to hand a controller to somebody and say, Look, this is how you play it. These are what you need to accomplish. Go. And everyone went. And the person may have taken a little bit to get used to what was going on, but for the most part, everyone could do it. Really, seriously. And in talking about that, he came up with a very interesting, an interesting point. If he were to have his father come over today and play, say, a modern football game, Madden, modern baseball game. He has father the controller, and the guy would be lost. I mean, the thing has five bazillion buttons. There's a couple of these thumbstick thingies and a lot of menus and options and all this crap, and it's not very pick-up-and-play friendly for everybody. For everybody. It's very pick-up-and-play friendly for people who've been playing games for a long time, who continue to play games or for some younger cats who know nothing else besides that. So, video games these days aren't very pick-up and friendly for a lot of people. And one of the things he's talking about doing is bringing that back with his new console. Again, I'm not going to sit here and debate whether or not he's going to be able to pull it off. I'm not going to try to tell you it's going to be a success. That's not the point of this video game. We're talking about an idea that he brought up that really clicked with me. Um, one of the things he wants to do is he wants to bring that back. And he kept referring back to the Wii. He's like, I couldn't put a PlayStation 3 controller in my mom's hands. But when the Wii came out, she understood how to play bowling with the Wiimote. It, it was a new console, but it was very pick-up and play friendly. With a slight curve of learning, of course, because with anything new, you have to learn how to actually do it. But... Somebody could, in theory, turn on the machine, get the game started, and play within minutes. Now, whether they're good or not, that's up to the individual. And he's trying to accomplish that with this new television console. And it seems like what he's trying to do is he's trying to make a console to bring back that time period where everybody, everybody can sit down and get involved. And they're on an equal level playing field. And you know what? I think video games have lacked that quite a bit in the past decade or so, even even probably longer. And that may very well be why I'm not into modern games personally. I love video games. I may not be the greatest at them, but I still love them. I love playing them. I love immersing myself into another world and enjoying myself, taking a break from real life for just a little bit. But there's just a lot I is not accessible to me. Um, not necessarily because of finances or anything like that, because I can play a PlayStation 4 any day I want. Just have to go somewhere else to do it. <laughs> um, I can play an Xbox One. My nephew's got one. A couple of my friends' kids have them. I can play them all day long. But then it's just not very pick-up and play friendly. And just to jump in here real quick and interrupt myself, um, a point I forgot to talk about was ease of the game. You know, difficulty levels and stuff like that. There are a ton of games that I play that are difficult to the... They're, they're just impossible to play. But I still have fun. But because of how not friendly modern consoles are, I can't have fun with it, regardless of its level of difficulty or ease, honestly. Now, you can pick on me all you want as far as my skills or whatever. 
it's neither here nor there. I don't give a shit. And I'm not, again, necessarily trying to talk about the console itself, the Intellivision Entertainment um, project, and tell you it's going to be a great console and all that stuff. And I'm not really even asking for debates on whether or not you think it's going to be anything worthwhile. I want to talk about the ideas that Tommy is coming up with and how I feel that they kind of address an issue that I personally have. And one I didn't know I had and or would like to see corrected, you know. So I think it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with this. I'm waiting for October um, for all the information to be announced. And I know the thing won't be out until 2020-ish. But the idea of just bringing the game back to the family and not just little Johnny and not just little Sally, you know. Everyone's on an equal playing field. And regardless of the game, great title still. Um, maybe simpler games. And when I say simpler, I don't mean dumbed down versions of what we got. I'm talking about games that are just pick up and play, not two bazillion menus. You don't have a gazillion buttons to sit there and fight with and all that kind of stuff. Now, the Intellivision did have a keypad, but I don't consider that the same thing. I don't consider that the same thing. In a lot of cases, you use the keypad just to start the game, or they were the controls. So it wasn't like you had the disc, and you had the buttons, and you had the fucking overlays. Some you did, but for the most part, it was either or, so to speak, you know, so... I don't know. I just think it's very interesting um, that I experienced this with Star Fox 64 just shortly after he was talking about this very idea. And that's why I decided to call this video the Intellivision Theory, because it's his theory that he wants to bring that back into the home. So, guys, in closing, I know there's going to be exceptions to this rule. I know there's going to be some of you that have folks that have been able to adapt to the modern stuff. That's fine. Not necessarily looking to hear about any of that because I know the exceptions exist. I know they do. They have to. It's just mathematical stuff. You know what I mean? It's science. But I am really interested in hearing your comments, your thoughts, your theories on this whole subject. Um, not necessarily on whether you think the new intelligence system is going to work out or not. Not a poke or two at me about how bad I'm at games and maybe I just suck at life and that's why I can't play modern games. And that's fine if you want to leave comments like that. But I want to know, honestly, if you personally feel that the gaming industry is lacking something and that it's not family friendly anymore. And I don't mean ratings of games and stuff like that. I mean what we were talking about. Me walking into a friend's house and just being able to pick up a controller and play with him. With a, you know, a learning curve, but still being able to handle the controller and it being back on a level playing field. Do you think something like that could exist again? Do you think it should exist again? I do. I think it'd be, it would be an amazing thing um, to have a console that was friendly for pretty much the majority of individuals. And have that level playing field again where little Johnny or Grandpa could sit together and play. And though someone's skill set might be a little greater from experience, it's still the second you hit that stop button, pre-level, and who is going to be able to conquer the day, take the field, and walk away glorious while talking smack. So guys, thanks as always so much for watching. This was a really interesting idea to me personally. I'm sure to a lot of you it might be boring, but it's my channel, so you had to listen to it. So go ahead and leave feedback. Go ahead, thumbs up, thumbs down. All feedback to the creep is positive. Until next time, guys, I hope you're doing well. Take care. Creep it real.